I had so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. That must have been hard. Still. Your Highness, this way! Who let these blackguards into the palace? His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way. To dispel the curse, its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness. For the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat.
Well... Nonetheless... Sure, I fell asleep. Well, then it's just as I thought. While you're asleep, our connection is much stronger. You wield your magic with ever more confidence. Splendid. As I mentioned previously, the archetype grows and develops anew through encounters with others. Look for those bearing the nobility and presence of the heroes and kings of old. More virtuous than the weight of any crown or medal is the burden you place on your own path forward. The more comrades and supporters who stand beside you, the more your power will deepen as you soar to new heights. One day, if the people join hands and seize the freedom to decide their own future with their own power just as you do, that is my ideal world. Hold on. What do you mean, supporters? We're trying to keep out of the public eye here. I mentioned before, did I not? There is no hero without allies, only a single voice in opposition. In other words, even archetypes have their own strengths and weaknesses. They'll be of little use if used thoughtlessly. Life and death are seconds apart on the battlefield. Be attentive, mindful, and strategic. Only then can you emerge victorious. When you feel unsure how to proceed, I recommend you stop assess your surroundings, and think. The smallest observation is often our greatest inspiration. Well, it's almost dawn. I will be watching with great anticipation. Until we meet again. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Four days remain. Good. This place here. Hmm. Let's go. Great. Let's move out. Escaping the dragon's threat in the Nord Mines, the party shakes their pursuers amidst the discovery of great powers. To make up for lost time, they risk hiring a coach to secret them the rest of the way to the capital. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain. Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Louise salads, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who sit on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort, sitting there in the cart. Never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange, how fast life can change. You okay? Unfortunately, I'd not had time to put any names to faces. Don't even know the name of the Roussant fellow we talked down. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. Almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now, and stay sharp. Milady, Welcome back. And thank you for making the trip. 
After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the king's death. The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. Tis a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, flags of mourning fluttering in the wind, the magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart. The fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. That way it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row, the hushed honeybee inn. We'll talk details once we're there. Here we go. That's terribly unfair. Look, I don't give a toss who's king, I just want some coin. Got it. Ugh. The crowd on this street looks pretty rough. What is it? Watch out for pickpockets. You can bet they'll all see you as an easy mark. This place. Bye. Got it. You're back. Papa, welcome home. Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. These are, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabian. This inn is my business and my home. Manners, Maria. Um, welcome. Aye. I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, could you handle that? Yes, right away. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I know I've already asked so much of you, but... Would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Of course. It wouldn't be the honeybee without her. Now... As for the rest of you, after braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. It's so good. Mm. Oh, 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 spicy. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, pipe down and eat, boy. 
That was delicious, especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. Red grass roasted bido. Bird meat. One of her hometown specialities. <sighs> She's risked a lot to shelter me and to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed, but are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways, but it seems none could avail themselves to us, which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral, in broad daylight. That's insane. It's risky, to be sure, but we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. I'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location. All I need is an opening. And don't rely on your fancy powers for this, all right? It'll attract too much attention. Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. This is all I need. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No, you'll just get in the way. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill, if not a clean one. It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. All right. Not much of a choice, I suppose. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? Got to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing. And best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, we've all been short on time to ourselves, but I'd feel bad leaving Marie all alone. Shall we go check in on her? At least? Look at that. Hey! Did you need something? I can't sleep. You can't relax? Your job must be hard. Oh, I just remembered. Papa said you have a strange book, and that I should ask to see it. You like books, huh? Well, I haven't ever seen one before, so I was wondering what they're like. Do you know how to read? Just a little. Well, since you're here, let's all read it together, okay? Really? Oh, but I still have work to do. Don't worry, Maria. I can handle this crowd. You have fun reading upstairs. Really? Yes. You did a very good job today. Let's read then. pictures. Are all books like this? Miss Fabienne taught me how to read a little. She said it helps with keeping the inn running. Do you help out every day? Mm-hmm. It's lots and lots of work, but it's fun too. Plus, I like when people say I'm clever, so I've got to work really, really hard. Papa always says not to go into his room. So I wait for him a lot. I'm good at waiting. Are you sure you're doing all right? Yes. Papa's always like this when he comes home. But I'm happy he's here. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Will you play with me again sometime? 
Then it's a promise. You're helping Papa with his job, aren't you? So, be safe. I've heard his job can be really dangerous. <laughs> The pure-hearted maiden, Maria. Within her dwells the virtue of the healer. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Thank you. I wonder if Papa will stay for longer this time. It'd be sad if he had to leave right away. I'll ask him to stay. Okay. I think I'll try to read a little bit more, and then I'll go find Miss Fabian and go to bed. Right. I'll try to read this part now. Um, in this country, the in, and the something king hears the voices of the city and protects their way of life. Um, what's this say? Society's purpose is to protect its citizens. This is a basic principle of this utopia. All are equal. All live in safety, and the rich and poor are as one. With no gaps, no conflict. All are friends, deserving of help. Basically, it's a place where there's no fighting, and everyone always gets along. Wow. Where is this place? No one gets left alone there, right? I wish I could go. Can I read a little more? Um, we're probably not going to bed anytime soon. As dawn breaks, so begins the procession to the Grand Cathedral. The King's casket has left the castle. The procession will take the main streets to its destination, the Grand Cathedral. I'll have you blend in with the guards posted there. On my mark, you'll create a distraction. Draw Luis's attention. What, with the soldiers? But our uniforms are... I had Fabienne patch them up. In the state they were in? <laughs> that must have taken all night. Let me see. Thanks for keeping Maria company yesterday. I'd appreciate if it wasn't the last time. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I appreciate it. The girl just... has trouble making friends is all. We're going to split up as soon as we leave. At the Grand Cathedral, we'll pose as guards to cause a commotion. I leave the rest to you. I'll see to everything here. Don't worry. Papa? I'll be back tonight. Be a good girl while I'm gone, eh? <sighs> I'm here for you. Well, don't push it too hard. Okay. Once we're back, let's all have dinner together. Yes, please. Be careful. See you soon. Once it's over, we'll regroup back here at night. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. Right then. Let's get ourselves ready, then head for the Grand Cathedral. Let's go. Oh. That reminds me.
reminds me. What is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Whoa. Now, where was I? Would you look at this? Well then. What? All right. That means... Because you see... This one's important. Please. Why? Uh... Yes, that's right. But for that... research. I've been waiting. Watch this.
Here, kitty. Oh. Oh. But you'll come again, won't you? You've come at a good time. Hmm. Don't miss your chance. Isn't that... Now that hand. Hello there. Got it? All right. Lots of lords and nobles. Some generals, too. All the big names are here. Can you see Grius? Pick him out. Although I don't see Luis around. Oh, uh, look there! The call! What is this? Isn't that the flower straight from the king's garden? And a common-blooded man bearing them to a funeral? Does the man know no shame? That's tantamount to declaring himself royalty! You barbarian! Your fool of a king is dead! <sighs> Disillusioned by vain aristocrats and simpering clergy, he withered and died under his own weakness. The audacity! How can he say that? This is madness! At the king's own funeral! Lord Louis speaks true! The nobles are to blame! Make the guilty! But open your eyes, and you will see the crisis in our nation. 
I will show you truth. The truth of reality. You've all been sheltered, blinded by walls of stone. Behold a human corpse. They are no mere rumor. They lurk and nest across the very land you call home. A fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. How long before we're overrun? You can only blame your king's weakness. And thus, who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! How dare you, scoundrel! Your words verge on treason! Against what ruler, Blue Blood? The dead cannot be betrayed. Oh. Let your late King Saul bear witness. Let Louis Squeerburn be named the true and rightful ruler of Ucronia! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are we? What? What's happening? Such power. It can't be. The palace! People of my land desire a new king, and I shall provide. Did he just say he flowed us the fifth? At face, it can't be. His Majesty, the king. How? Oh, he was dead. Why? Be silent. Let him say his peace. Heed me, O Kingless. Time is finite before my soul departs this benighted world. In four moons of life past death, there shall come a reckoning, a day of the hero. Upon that day, whosoever hath truly earned the greatest faith of the citizenry shall ascend to throne and crown by right of kings. By right of kings, the faith of the citizenry. Truly. From the lofty heaven shall my unfading soul look down upon thee, and from the whispered hopes of thine anxious hearts shall those to whom thine allegiances lie be laid bare. Ah! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I hear thy voices ring out in clarion truth. Here and now witness the faces of those most desired to become king. It's Forden. Count Louise! Count Louise is there too! They're all candidates. <sighs> ha! What glorious spectacle! The mantle of king is mine by right and providence. You go too far, Louis. We gather to mourn his majesty, and you desecrate it. You would befoul the throne, blackguard. <laughs> so be it. Shall we test that? Good people, is Forden truly fit to be king? Or shall you cast off the shackles of blind faith? We need not be chained to birth or tribe. In my world, we are a people equal and united. I shall be your shield from the human menace. Together, 
peace is within our grasp. When my village burned, the church did nothing. There's no way we can fight those what? monsters alone. And those of us in bonds? Will we too be protected? Don't be fooled! He's not the man you think he is! Hey, look! Hi, Luis! He's catching up to Gordon! Can the giant thing really see what we're thinking? Luis, you've led the people's hearts astray! No future exists without the power to eliminate the human crisis! Those who stand at my side, who oppose the powers that be, my protection is yours! Or refuse my hand and perish. I will lead us over your corpses. You mean, just as you killed the king? A country is heavier than a crown, and he could not bear it. Retribution passed due. You vile! He cares nothing for the blood on his hands. Damn you, Luis! You think you truly deserve the crown? You doom us all! I won't stand for it! Hey, who are you? Silence him! A Kingslayer deserves only death! I quiet! Hey, get Yes, good! You need to go too. Where's Grius? I shall not suffer the defiance of my people's will. In my name art thou punished. Punished? <laughs> Impressive. One of the royal family's dog. Rather poetic, I suppose. See how he is rewarded for your loyalty. <laughs> I warned you, this is the price of defiance. Though I hadn't expected the king's own magic on my side. So be it. Rally behind me. I will shield you from injustice. Rise above birth and circumstance, for they mean nothing! Count Luis is our only what hope! What choice do we have? He'll kill any against oh him! Not much of a choice. Upon the day of the hero, whosoever has most earned my people's faith, shall ascend upon my throne to rule, according to my judgment. Be thou criminal, pauper, or noble, thy claim is decided not by stature or tribe. I shall bear witness. From this heavenly seat I am nigh omnipotent. Look to the faces carved upon this rock, and see thou the faces of the Chosen. I shall brook no sabotage or obstruction of this trial. Let all hear me and obey. The sun sets on old fossils. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luis as king. Stand down! Damned meddlers. So your wish is to die, is it? Your bones will be monuments to Lord Luis's glory! Ah! No, he's a fire. 
kills the dead. Ah, but Lord Luis has sent me here on an important errand. What errand? It seems I'll need considerable time to accumulate the magla. Until it's done, however, I'm afraid I'll have to borrow the cathedral. The day the King's morning ends will become the day of calamity. If you mean to interfere, then die. Stand strong! The souls of the dead do not return. He manipulates them as puppets with foul magic! Brace yourselves, everyone! <sighs> What is this? What the hell is this? Stroll, get a hold of yourself. We've got company. <laughs> Keep it together. Got to stay calm. Calm. Damn it, I can't focus. Sorry about that. I'll be all right. Here they come. Brace yourselves! Let's see how this plays out. Stroll's anxious, and they're targeting him! Nate! Wind! Now, what's the play? I'll hold my ground! to hold back. Are you prepared? What a mess. Let's see how this plays out. Fight as the noble I am. I call upon royal power within. No, not the. I'll hold my ground. Closing the distance, moving to the rear. Time to go offensive. No holding back! Hack and slash! I won't hold back! Wind! Still here? In the. Are you prepared? What can I do? Where'd that man go? Did he take soldiers into the cathedral? There should be a mausoleum nearby. Could you take his body there? Yes, right away. Take care with him, please. He was a dear friend. He gave his all for the king. 
for the royal bloodline. The least he deserves is dignity and death. My name is Hulkenberg. I have a question for you. That power you wield, it is not something they teach in the army. You are no ordinary soldier. And you? You're clearly more than a guard, Captain. I am a knight in the Crown's service. Commanding the guard is not my station's duty, but... These are dire times. A knight? And you pretend at soldiery. But that matter can wait. Alsays seem to know you. Who is Alsace? We'll have time for debate after we apprehend that mage. He's after the Royal Scepter, I'm sure of it. The Royal Scepter? Please, someone, help! Please help. I've still got family inside. Did he trap civilians in the cathedral? Yes, my family and more. I don't envy their chances if he finds them helpless. I am honor bound as a knight to answer their plea. I would ask your aid as well, if you might give it. Does it not tarnish the royal knights to enlist the aid of strangers? I haven't the luxury of refusing able fighters. If I turn back here, I'd never be able to face Grius. Any objections, my friend? It's going to be dangerous. That's exactly why we can't abandon these people. Let's just watch out for those accursed skeletons. Tactics should work. Begin. Wind! Still here? No. What's the play? I'll cut you down! One left! Good one, Strong. Keep it up. Only one left! Come forth, Royal Soul! Fire! In the next. I call upon Royal Power within! Come <laughs> on. 
Now, no holding back! Understood. 